Hello everybody, I hope your seatbelts are securely fastened because today we're having a go at Highway Test Chamber created by Slicef. So a very big thank you to Slicef for what appears to be a pretty wonderfully unique and bizarre test chamber. And I do, I do love anything wonderfully unique and bizarre in this game. Uh, it actually would appear to be a partnership between Aperture and DoorDash to bring you piping hot science to your door in 30 minutes or your science is just that little bit colder because, well, it's Aperture and you're not going to get a bloody refund now, are you? Now, this is very, very cool, though. I don't think I've ever seen another map on the workshop with um, an environment quite like this one. I like the amount of detail you've gone to. I like the fact that there's even other commuters on the road with us because everyone's got to get going somewhere, right? Uh, we do have what appears to be an actual test chamber mounted on the back of this flatbed. Tubes, science delivery cubes and aperture fizzlies. Hold on. Also a gigantic void in time and space. Perhaps that's what we're actually delivering. Not the safest way to deliver a void in time and space. I'd have at least put a railing or one of those, you know, caution, slippery, wind wet floor signs. Probably would have gone quite a long way. So what's, uh, what's the aperture fizzlies? Is that like a... That's an ant line, right? That's an ant line that's stretched out through time and space, probably distorted by the void. Yeah, that's the head cannon I'm going with. Um, tubes, tubes, as per usual with a test chamber. There is a cube delivery tube connected to this tube that runs all the way to the back here. There's a button mounted in the middle. This button gets rid of the fizzler back to where we went. Uh, it also, it also appears to raise a bridge over the void in space and time. So at least one health and safety regulation has been observed there. There's a button on the side, button on the side, button on the side. Ah, button on the side turns off a conveyance beam set up over here, which is clearly set up for a cube to press that button. Suspended high above the tarmac in a rather precarious manner. And... Okay, I'm no mechanic. I don't own a car and I can't drive. Well, I can't legally drive anyway. But I don't think axles are supposed to work like that. Slow down. I don't think axles are supposed to actually work like that. No, they're not normally supposed to follow the passenger. Can you imagine if your toddler's climbing around in the back seat of your car and your axle starts doing this? All sorts of havoc on the road. All right, shall we actually start doing this experiment before, well, before our driver pulls into one of those shady truck stops where all the lot lizards hang out? Uh, we've got a button back here. This button does. This button delivers one of those regular boring weighted cubes here. Uh, this is the tube that connects to the cube delivery tube all the way over there where the fizzlies are. So what activates you then? That button there, I'm guessing, as indicated by, yeah, that. Let's just call them Aperture Fizzlies. And we've got two buttons over there, which will apparently grant us access into the cab, where we can have a much more comfortable ride, a little lie down, and that awkward conversation about gas, grass, or ass. Um, sometimes I hate the things I say and really regret them. Yeah, science. Okay, right. What are we actually doing then? Uh, since we've been delivered a cube, slow down. Since we've been delivered a cube here, we probably want you in there to press the button since it's the only thing we currently have access to via that one little gap in the mesh there. You will go and press that button. Pressing that button there appears to get rid of the fizzler that blocks half the flatbed's trailer from us. Oh, there's also two panels up above. Two panels up above one of which appears to line up quite interestingly with you, right? So that's a that's a cube launch via a tube. Should go and press that button for us. We're going to need two cubes at the end, but at least one of them is going to have to grant us access via this bridge at some point. So some sort of cube flinging swapping kind of setup. So what would we actually do now then? Well, you're sat in there. Are you an auto respawning cube? If we ditch you out onto the highway? Do you just spit out a new one? You do spit out a new one, which means we can find out if you line up, right? Chucking it out of there. So let's get you back in your conveyance beam button combination set up here. Like so. Some of these guys are driving way too fast. I don't like it. Also, you appear to be following a little too ominously. I don't know how lanes work in America. Isn't one of these supposed to be like the fast lane? No one seems to want to past red here. Although green back there is coming up quite quick, isn't he? Hmm. I wonder what that truck's delivering. Well, that one. 
They're doing it a lot safer than we are, that's for sure. Uh, so you're in there again. With you in there, we could go ahead and leave a portal upon that panel. We can stand on you and place one there. So that when we ditch this cube out onto the road, we should get a new one spat out that way. And I think it will go press that button. It did. Triggering that, which sends a cube, which gets stuck momentarily, all the way to the back and almost topples off of the edge. Because railings. Aperture does not do bloody railings, apart from the miles and miles of catwalk. Uh, so with you, we've got a companion cube. We've got a companion cube now, which would make sense to be the one we do the swap with, maybe? Slow down, I saw you pull up there. Uh, so you, would make sense to go in here, or well, we can respawn you as well. What are you currently doing? You are not doing anything at the back there. So let's get a new one of you as well, and you can sit there. Lucid dream. Yeah, I guess this could be one of those creepy dreams that never appears to end. I get them, but they're usually just walking for miles. Uh, let's put you into into there, since you're the new cube-based option. No, oh, hello. I want you to go in there, please. You go sit in there, which will do that middle bit again, right? So if I want to get this cube, how would we now get a cube into the middle here? Because we're going to need one of them to hold this down. Uh, to get a cube into the middle here, are you an auto-respawning cube? No, okay, the companion cube does not automatically respawn, meaning I've probably got to go ahead and trigger it again. So let's go ahead and put you back in the conveyance combination here, like so. Chucks that into there, holds that open for us. Let's put a portal on this panel again, since that lines up with the button. And then underneath there. Drop this in here and we can get a new companion cube again. That should have triggered you. At some point you'll go rolling past. There you are. Right, so if you're going to go sit over there, I'm thinking you're the cube that now needs to go ahead and do this uh, combination in here. Let's do you and... That's nowhere near where I fired my portal. Some quite strong portal funneling techniques going on here. Probably to keep them lined up with... Yeah, those are way off. Look at that. Yeah, probably to keep them lined up with those particular tubes. So cube tossing is an actual thing we want to do. And this is as far as I got before, isn't it? So get a new one of you. Or get a new one of you. Well, you keep this open for me. So how could we get a new one of uh, the regular cube just here? If I do you out of there, you'll probably chuck all the way to the back as well. That sticks out a little bit, right? So that's for us to stand on and grab cubes from. So if I just wanted a cube here without velocity, can we do the whole null portal thing, which seems to be coming up a awful lot lately? Or is that just because it's a pretty standard portal maneuver? And I've only recently learnt the name of it, and therefore I'll keep thinking about it a lot. So you sit there, right? We can turn off this fizzler with this button with our own weight. But if we did... I don't think it would probably really matter, but if we did you there, and we stood on you, will you now delicately tumble out this side? Yes, but you want to go in the void, because, well, you want to go in the void. Uh, that has screwed me up entirely, hasn't it? Because that chucked another one over there. Fine, let's... Let's do everything again then. Let's go press this button back here. I've got you. Well, I wanted you in there, right? So you go in there and you do the middle fizzler going off. You deliver me a new cube, which I just want to sit there. Slow down. And then we can go over back to this side. It's very distracting when people pass you so fast. I mean, this is difficult enough, right? The slight motion sickness is not helping. Um... That guy's really distracted me now. Oh yeah, I want a cube to land here delicately, right? So, without the risk of you tossing a new cube onto the button, let's use that one. And put a portal there and get there before you tumble into the void. I said before you tumble into the void. That just chucks another one over there, but at least it didn't press the button. So I need to get there really quick, right? Or is there a better way to do this? Better way to do this? Uh, I don't believe so. Those are the only panels we have to work with. 
Well, there's quite a lot of panels over at the back for, like, maybe cube juggling purposes? Perhaps? This, for the moment, is what makes sense and is the thing I will keep trying until at some point I realise I've been trying it way, way too long. So let's put a portal back on... Yeah, I don't want it to press the button, so... There. And... There, and get there quick, 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 quick. Don't go in the bloody void every time. And just chucks a new one out. So... This can't be right, right? There has to be a better way of getting a cube here delicately. There's no other real options. I can't convey anything else anywhere else at all. No, I think it's got to be this. I'm going to keep keep trying it until you all start complaining in the comments. So you sit there. Now we leave one. Again, I don't want it launching anywhere near that button because that's like a whole step backwards. So there. There. Get there quickly. Yes, okay. Now, that makes sense that you can sit on there, right? Because that gives us access to the bridge and gives us access all the way back. So now then, what can we do from back here? From back here, we can manually trigger this button by standing on it. Uh, these need cubes, so we can't do anything else with them. The fact that the axles keep following me so much is really rather unsettling, but we'll do our best to ignore it. I'm also really wondering what's in here now. Please say you've modeled a fat truck driver in there. No, no, no. Put Grady in there, right? Grady with the one arm on the steering wheel, and then he, he like turns round as we enter, and we all crash horribly because this does feel like some sort of final destination setup now. Let's um, go ahead and do what now? Well, we could launch the companion cube all the way over here. That will get us one cube at the back. So to do that, we'd need to leave a portal underneath you. And you do have that very strong portal funneling thing going on which would suggest we're actually supposed to do things like that. So if I go stand on this button again, we should get a new cube spat all the way back here. And the fizzlies come back. So you're going to drop in there, new cube comes over here. You almost go off the edge because railings. And what do I do with you now then? Um, we need to get you over here as well. The only slow the fuck down. Yeah, we need to get that one over here as well. So that would have to have a portal underneath its delivery cube tube as well to spit one over here. So to spit one over here as well, I need to be able to get back places and get back here with leaving portals in place. So... I want to swap these. I want to swap these so we keep the bridge. But to swap these, you or a respawning counterpart needs to go and do in there. Yeah. Let's uh, leave a portal placed by the funnel there and one up in there. Let's do it from this side in case fizzlers come back when I don't want them to by chucking you off the edge. That appeared to shrink. That was weird. You go sit in there now, right? So that gets rid of this middle fizzler, meaning you can come back and do this button. So we could do the same thing that we did back here. And no, we can't, can we? Because we can't spit that cube from back here. We could press that button and run back here. That would get that cube spat back here. If we left a portal underneath it where it currently is. But then I need a way to get that one here as well. Which means we need portals left back there for both of them to go into. They're both going to need their own entry portal for an exit portal on... Well, yeah, I'm assuming that one because it doesn't line up with the button. I don't want that button pressed now because that'll screw over everything. So if I had to leave portals back here... We could do a cube juggle, right? Because you want to do your pre-placed funnel there. And the cube would keep juggling, although won't that just... Hold on, let's do a quick test. No, physics are as physics would expect it to be. We're not technically moving, it's all a complete illusion. So, get a new one of that cube from this side the fizzler by pressing U. And it should start juggling, yes? Yeah? Slow down, asshole. It should start juggling in there. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there it is. So, if we come over here and we move the 
blue is it? Move the blue to there. You're going to deliver me you. And you can come over here. In fact, you can go ahead and sit right in a button. Because that is all perfectly set up to deliver me a new companion cube, right? Aperture Fizzly's come back and a new companion cube is spat all the way over here. Cool, we can go finally meet our driver and have that awkward conversation. That is entirely not what I was expecting to see. That is just, just the back of the cab, isn't it? Okay, how does this work? Does this just trigger the end? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay, I like that one a lot then. A wonderfully unique environment for conducting experiments within and a really solid little logic puzzle too. That was Highway Test Chamber, created by Slicef and recommended by Esmerosh. So a big thank you to the both of them. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I've got to go have that little chat with the driver and I think I left my wallet in my other Aperture jumpsuit. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.